Hello guys and welcome back for another episode here at Gathering Rust Holly Farm. Today we're using the RK25 and the backhoe 6.7, BH 6.7 and we're going to show you how to remove the backhoe. Um, a lot of people were asking and so I thought I'd do a little video to try to help you all out. Um, so here we go. Make sure your pin is removed. the outriggers down and the backhoe on the ground. Next thing I'll bring it inside so we can see down below. Okay as you can see I've already pulled this one off. This is just your outer arm and there's a pin some people call it a hair pin okay hair pin in the washer this pin right here goes all the way through this and this it just has a hair pin in the washer careful not to lose the washer once you remove that, this is just going to lift up and it's going to hang. Like that. There we go. That's a little better. You're going to pull this pin out. Again, I've already done it on the other side. We're over here. So uh, we'll move on to the next spot. Okay, so far we pulled those pins out. We got the outriggers down, got the backhoe down. The set frame goes all the way up here, right there. So you can see, right there. When you remove that, you gotta make sure it doesn't hit anything else.
now you can see where that has come off of the cradle and underneath that piece I showed just a moment ago. And we take it up front. This is where the subframe hooks into the front. It has come completely out of the cradle. Okay, now you can see the subframe here, the very front, where it's come out of the cradle. We wanna lower that down and just use the backhoe pressure to lower that front part of that down. There it goes, just like that. Now make sure your outriggers stay on the ground and are secure. So you can see where the front has gone down and is now clearing the bottom of the tractor. Okay, so right here, you got where those came out of the subframe there, came out. You got these hanging. You got your back hoe. This is where it goes up in, right there. And then right there, that's your subframe. It goes up all the way up in. Okay, now we've turned the tractor off. We've got the subframe out from underneath the tractor. Um, and all we have left are these hydraulic lines. Remember, we just changed that position of that lever underneath the seat to neutral. So these will just pop right out. See there? Pop right out. Same thing on the other side. Pop right out. And then put your caps back on. Just like that. Then these, you're gonna put your this piece back in there. Now the tractor comes with a shorter one when you take the backhoe off, but for now, our purpose is here. I'm just gonna put it in. Kind of hard with one hand. There it goes. And because all the slop, I suggest you get the smaller one that came with the tractor. Put your washer and your hairpin back in and do the same thing to the other side. You'll be all set to go. Okay, now we're going to put the backhoe back.
back on the tractor. So, first step, very important. Get your tractor lined up properly. If you don't get it lined up, it's going to be a nightmare. So that's the biggest thing when you're putting your backhoe back on the tractor. Get your tractor lined up properly with the backhoe. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. If you get it lined up properly, it's, it's not that bad. So here we go. Okay, I had to get creative here because I left this part out. So as you can see here, I've removed the hairpin and the washer from the pin on this arm here. There is the hairpin and the washer. And then after that, after you remove that, you're just going to pull the large pin here and the arm will fall. There's a turnbuckle arm. Pull that pin and then turnbuckle arm falls. Now that turnbuckle arm, you're just going to let it swing and both sides, you'll remove that and this is what it'll look like. First thing, you're going to hook up your hydraulics. Make sure that the switch underneath the, the lever that's underneath, the red lever that's underneath the seat is in the neutral position. That'll make these easy to get on. Okay, we got the hydraulic lines on. I want to tell you something. Just remember, you paid for hydraulics, so use the hydraulics to your benefit. You want to hook those up so that you can actually use the outriggers and the backhoe to actually raise the, the backhoe up to the level. First, you want to make sure you're in line again. Get your hydraulic lines hooked up. And then you're gonna back up. If you got somebody to help you, you wanna make sure the first thing you look at is where the subframe goes into the front of the tractor. That's the first thing. Okay, before you are able to use the backhoe, once you hook the hydraulic lines up, there's a lever underneath the seat on the RK25. It has a red tip on it. There's three positions. There's neutral, onto the, if you're sitting on the seat to the right, onto the left, which just takes it in a different direction. For our purposes, we're gonna switch it to the right if you're sitting on the tractor. Now, when we start the tractor up, the hydraulics on the backhoe will work.
Okay, that's pretty close. We're going to move the tractor back. See how close we are once we get back. don't have anybody with you this is the primary thing and I'm gonna tell you a little secret you look down through the pedal hole where the pedal is on the brake you can actually see when that actually meets the connection there so that's where I'm looking when I'm by myself Basically, just barely off. So I just used 
just a little bit so that I can scoot that over and it would be perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that right into place. Okay, so you can see how it came right in place here. This is the backside underneath the tractor. And you can see here where it went right into the cradle there. And the holes line up where you're going to put the pin in. This is where it goes in the cradle here. And this is where it's in line. And we will put in the pin here in the next step. Okay, you got your arm here that's uh, hanging free. First thing, make sure it'll go all the way through first. See there? Then you can put this piece on. Okay, you may have to adjust your turnbuckle. I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit. And it went right on through. That's your washer. And there, hairpin. Okay, one side down. Do the same thing on the other side. Now you have it. There's really nothing to it, and anyone can do it. it. Takes a little time to get used to, but I hope that this video will help somebody. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. This is the RK25 with the backhoe. Right now, I've got the pallet forks on the front, doing some stuff around here. So. Thank you all for watching here on Gathering Rust Hobby Farm, and we ask that you like, subscribe, share them with your friends, and uh, if you have anything else that you'd like to see, this video was requested, so uh, feel free to leave it in the comments or shoot me a Facebook message or however you choose to communicate. We're always available 
for new, fresh, fun videos. Thank you very much.